so let's say I'm a kid um, who is thinking about playing college baseball. You know, I'm in high school. What would be something that is good for me to post? And maybe after that, give me an example of something that's bad to post. Because a little background for me, even though I'm, I'm not clearly all that old, um, it was very different for me in high school. TikTok wasn't a thing. Instagram was a thing, but not the way that it is now. So for me, social media played zero role in my recruiting. There were no coaches in 2016, 2017, really looking at social media as a tool for recruitment. So I didn't even have to go through this. So I guess my question to you is, if I'm a kid in high school looking to play maybe college baseball, what are some things I should absolutely steer clear from? And maybe what are some things that that might be helpful uh, for a college coach to see? Well, I think for for me is video clips of watching the, the 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 player play. I think that's the most important thing. You know, seeing some live clips, whether they're being at bats, pitching on the mound. Um, you know, in some cases, you'll you'll just see live live stream clips. And I think that's really good because ultimately that's what you you want to evaluate is how that player competes. Um, you know, some of the training is good. You know, you can you can see some of the actions of a, a fielder or a swing from the side. Um, but for me, mostly, I, I really like watching game speed, game speed clips because it gives you a better feel of the of the, what the player can basically do in the game situation. Stuff to stay clear from. You know, I, I think I, I would treat it like a business. Um, you know, if, if my website is there to promote my baseball, then that's what it should be dedicated to. It should be dedicated to pro- promoting my skills, my game, um, and that's what I would use it for. Uh, I, I don't know if I would – maybe I have a, a second, uh, you know, site or something to hand, to take care of my social aspect. But from a baseball standpoint, I think sometimes when people combine the two, um, it, it can get into some tough situations. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think that's well put. I, I'll never forget when I first first got picked up by the Nationals, like one of the first courses of action was we had a yeah. class, you know, it was in English and Spanish, and it was a class on social media and do's and don'ts and what to avoid, what to do, like how to set up your bio and like a lot of that stuff, which was, you know, obviously super new.